Yeah, now I explained about how the exchange rates are picked up and now um, I would like to explain on the how the currency valuation will be done in the system. So here is the example I have taken the postings. When you take these postings, this is a, actually uh, our closing rate is this and the opening rate is this. So now uh, you can see this is a how the system is posted this is actually the gain fx gain so if you see here this is the fx gain in the it is how it is showing in the report so the posting here is exactly the same here so the system is calculated using the you see the formula this is the online transaction so this online transaction value where is uh, this is the one which is calculated by the system you can see when uh, you are posting initial posting and this uh, date so when it comes to the closing rate so this is a um, transaction rate this is a closing rate okay so if you see um, I say posting so at the time of posting this is the rate so when the system is calculated uh, it's used in the exchange rate which is um, here sorry exchange rate used by the system is uh, this one yeah so to do this calculation so you can see uh, if you see here how how this is calculated oh, sorry and uh, you see this is the closing rate with the original foreign currency so it was multiplied and uh, it got the value 10,982 so if you see in the column here amount valued is this the one let me minimize this auto high okay so if you look into the sorry I just was trying to adjust in the here and you can see this is a amount valued which is this is the column is how the valuation is done so if you see this column this is where the valuation is done by the system and this valuation is done using the exchange rates where uh, you are having here which is uh, this is the exchange rates so if you see this is the amount of valuation and this is the exchange rate was taken to do the calculation then the system calculated is how much is the amount so this is the how it shows when it comes to the postings you can see so in the case of the last transaction you can see s for a, a debit and a h for credit in the sap so now uh, when you go to the postings you can see how much gain and how much loss is posted so when you see here this is the where the system is posted uh, in the case of uh, other transactions uh, if you see the transactions here so when you see all these highlighted is a valuation posting so this is a valuation posting and this is a valuation posting so when it comes to these postings or reversal yeah so this is how uh, the system post and reverse automatically in the next month first first of next month you can see the date here um, when it comes to the reversal uh, you can see here 
so this is a reversal date and this is a posting date you can see so this is a reversal date and also this sorry this is not the reversal yeah so this is how you can check in the system so now when it comes to the valuation you can see there is a, a posting here the 40 is go to the balance sheet adjustment and 50 is go to the gain account so this is a credit means it's a gain and the debit means it's a loss so you can see here yeah so this is how the valuation postings will be done by the system thank you